You spend hours editing and then another 20 minutes on every render. Now imagine being able to edit and render two to three times faster all on a regular laptop. Sounds pretty good, right? So I ditched DaVinci Resolve and spent 30 days editing with Movavi. And in this video, I will show you what really changes with actual numbers, real examples, and mistakes you'll definitely want to avoid. My name's Arthur, and I've been editing videos for YouTube channels and brands for 12 years. And today I want to find out, can Movavi really replace DaVinci when your deadline was yesterday and you've only got a standard laptop at hand? Stick around till the end, I've got test results, four editing tricks, and two fatal mistakes to share. Things that could cost you a lot of stress and even clients if you're not careful. The first thing you notice with Movavi is that it feels like you just took off a backpack full of bricks. DaVinci has separate workspaces for every step. It's like a mission control center with a different logic for each tab. In Movavi, everything is in one window. Timeline at the bottom, preview on the right, effects, transitions, text on the left. There is no overload, it's all clean and minimalist. And when we compared launch and project build times, the difference was clear. For example, launching DaVinci on my MacBook took about 20 seconds. Movavi started up in 15 seconds. Editing one minute expert short with auto subtitles took 17 minutes in DaVinci, but only seven minutes and 40 seconds in Movavi. Movavi clearly has the edge here. And if you're a freelancer handling three to four projects like that a day, that adds up to hours saved every week. When you import a video file into DaVinci Resolve, especially a heavy one, the program immediately starts prepping in the background. It builds a media cache, basically some helper files to let you play the footage smoothly. Until that cache is finished, you could start editing, but in reality, everything lags. The preview freezes, audio drifts out of sync, and every action has a delay. Most people end up just waiting it out. In Movavi, it's the opposite. Add your video file and you can start working with it right away. You can drag it to the timeline immediately. It plays back without choppiness and you're free to start cutting, editing transitions, layering music, no waiting around. I tested both editors on three different machines, my home PC, an office laptop, and my everyday MacBook. I wanted to see how long it would take for each of them to render five minute full HD project. Here's what I got. Home PC, DaVinci, three minutes, 45 seconds. Movavi, one minute, 28 seconds. Office laptop, DaVinci, 18 minutes, 21 seconds. Movavi, 5 minutes, 13 seconds. MacBook, DaVinci, 7 minutes, 10 seconds. Movavi, 3 minutes, 47 seconds. The difference is obvious. Even on the weak office laptop, Movavi handled the project without breaking a sweat. The preview was smooth and the render was fast. Runs cool. My laptop isn't turned into a hot plate with DaVinci. During a longer render, my fans start howling so loud it feels like the computer is about to take off into orbit. Movavi Video Editor lets you export a segment of your project, not the whole thing. Super convenient if you need to quickly share or preview part of a video. Here's how it works. You click on select fragment, mark the start and end of the section you want on the timeline, then hit save fragment. That's it. Movavi will export only that highlighted part. No more rendering the entire video when you just need a short clip. In my experience, Movavi is all about practicality. You're not just getting a set of features, you are getting ready-made solutions. Let me give you two concrete scenarios as examples. Scenario one, creating YouTube shorts. In DaVinci, prepping a vertical shorts video is a manual slog, you have to trim clips by hand, resize and reframe your footage for vertical, and animate any text overlays manually, cue the frustration of keyframe and text movement frame by frame. In Movavi, by contrast, you've got auto subtitles built in, so you don't have to hand animate your captions. Background removal is also available at the click of a button. I timed a simple talking head short, about six minutes to finish it in Movavi, versus 18 minutes in DaVinci. Huge difference. Scenario two, recording an online course video. In Movavi Unlimited, the all-in-one bundle, you have an integrated toolkit. A video editor, a screen recorder, and any screencast you record goes straight onto the video editor timeline. Plus a video converter for any format changes. You also get built-in assets like intros, callouts, and arrows to annotate your video, all without leaving the program. Meanwhile, in DaVinci, you'd need to use OBS or another app to capture your screen, then import that footage 
footage. Then find or create graphics for callouts and arrows. You get the picture. Movavi's ecosystem just streamlines the whole process. You use markers to keep your project organized. When you are working the timeline in Movavi, you can right click at any point on a clip and select add marker, then give the marker a name. This lets you mark important moments or sections. It saves a ton of time when editing, especially if you're dealing with a long interview or tutorial video where it's just a talking head and you need to quickly navigate between topics or take retakes. Now let me show you some really handy editing tricks I picked up. Trick one, effects sets. Movavi has a section called effects sets, which groups themed elements into packs. You can grab a set that fits your video style and you'll instantly have a matching collection of titles, stickers, transitions, and intros all in one consistent style. It's incredibly convenient and saves you time you'd otherwise spend trying to make all your graphics and text look coherent. Just apply an effect pack and boom, everything in your video has a unified look and feel. Trick two, audio normalization. This one's a lifesaver for audio editing. Movavi can normalize your audio levels with a single check mark, so all your clips end up at a consistent volume. I compiled four different interview clips using this feature and didn't even have to touch an equalizer. Every speaker's audio came out at the same level with no jarring volume jumps. Let me show you how it works. It's really simple. To enable volume normalization, select your audio clip and tick the normalize option. In Movavi's interface, it's labeled as auto volume level. And that's it. Movavi will automatically even out the loudness. I'd also recommend exploring the other audio tools available. Movavi's got all the essentials, noise removal, EQ, etc. Play around with them and see what works for you and let me know in the comments how it goes. Now, let me confess a couple of epic mistakes I made so you don't have to learn the hard way. Mistake number one, back when I was using DaVinci, I once forgot to turn on audio normalization for a track. The result, I ended up wasting two extra hours re-rendering the project to fix uneven sound. I was early in my editing journey and in DaVinci, the normalization setting is tucked away enough that I completely missed it, especially since I was rushing to meet that deadline. By the time I realized I had to redo a lot of work, in Movavi Video Editor, by contrast, volume normalization is impossible to miss. It's a dedicated button right on the audio effects panel, always in plain sight. One click on auto volume level for your track and you're done. I really wish I'd had that back then. Stake number two, in another project on DaVinci, I somehow lost my audio. I deleted the audio track by accident and then spent ages trying to figure out how to get it back. I was digging through menus, Googling solutions, pulling my hair out. It was the same old story for a complex interface hiding a simple function. In Movavi, that whoops, I deleted my sound nightmare doesn't last long. The feature to restore audio is right at your fingertips. Just right click your clip and select restore audio. And that's it. You get your audio back instantly. Here's how it works in case you ever need it. If you accidentally remove the audio from a video clip, a quick right click and choosing restore audio will bring the original sound right back onto the timeline. No fuss, no digging through settings, a simple fix for a potentially panic inducing problem. If you haven't tried Movavi yet, head to the link in the description of this video. You can download Movavi for for free and test it out on one of your own projects. And if you decide to get a paid subscription for a month, which I highly recommend because it unlocks the full functionality, you'll also receive seven days of free access to a bunch of effects packs, music tracks, backgrounds, titles, stickers, the works. Plus, Movavi's built-in tutorial tips will guide you through all the features so you can get comfortable with the software in just one evening. Check it out via the link below. Now I wanna talk about working with color grading and sound. In DaVinci, I had a custom color grading template for each type of video I made, but even then, I'd still end up manually tweaking curves and messing with LUTs every single time to get the look just right. In Movavi Video Editor, color work is much simpler. You've got ready-made filters and straightforward sliders for brightness, contrast, and saturation. Pretty cool, right? To see how they compare, I ran a few color correction tests on different projects. In each case, Movavi 
took only a fraction of the time that Da Vinci did. We're talking completing some color adjustments in roughly one third to one quarter of the time. For example, one interview clip took me 27 minutes to color grade in Da Vinci, but only about nine minutes in Movavi. GoPro vlog went from 15 minutes in Da Vinci to just four minutes in Movavi using filters. Even the more complex promo video that took 42 minutes of color work in Da Vinci was done in 18 minutes with Movavi. In short, Movavi sped up my color grading two to four times over Da Vinci, depending on the project. Now, to be fair, the end result isn't a cinematic Hollywood grade color grade, but does look natural and stylish. And I achieved that look without any convoluted processes or advanced color science. For most of my needs, especially for YouTube, that's a big win. Trick three, color correction presets. Movavi lets you create your own color presets easily, which is a huge time saver. Here's how you did. Load up a clip on the timeline, go into the color adjustment tools and switch to manual mode. Do your color tweaks, adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, maybe a bit of white balance until that frame looks the way you want. Then hit save and give this set of adjustments a name. Now you've saved a custom color preset. This new preset will show up in the My Preset section and you can instantly apply it to all other clips in your project that need the same look. It's basically an easy alternative to using LUT files like you would in DaVinci, but way more straightforward. Think about it. With LUTs, you usually have to generate or find the LUT, maybe export a reference, import the LUT, adjust it for each camera or scene. It's a lot of hassle. Here, Movavi just lets you save your own mini LUT on the fly and reuse it immediately. If you need to fine tune the style further, here's a pro tip. Start by applying one of Movavi's built-in filters that's close to what you want, and then manually tweak a specific parameter or two, say bump up the exposure or dial down the saturation this kind of hybrid approach, using a preset as a base and then adjusting slightly, is something a lot of YouTube creators do in their workflow. You get the speed of one-click filter with the customization of manual tweaks. Best of both worlds and can make your videos look more consistent without much extra effort. 30 days with Movavi flew by and to my surprise, it was an easy ride. Not only did I not miss DaVinci, I actually started to enjoy editing in a whole new way. Everything just got faster, simpler and Dare I say fun? It turns out that a well thought out intuitive interface can save you literally hours of work each week and it makes the editing process a lot less of a grind. Before we wrap up, I have to share my favorite time saving trick in Movavi. I've gotten so much use out of this one. Any title, transition or sticker that you like, you can add it to favorites. This way, all your go-to effects and elements are always right at your fingertips. For example, if there is a particular title style or animated sticker you use often, just mark it as a favorite. Next time you start a new project, you won't have to dig through menus to find it again. Just open your favorites tab or check recent and it's sitting right there waiting for you. And here's an extra tip related to that. If you consistently use certain assets like a signature music track, logo sting or other recurrent clips in every video, you should create a template project. Import those assets into project one then save that project file as something like a template or my starting project. For each new video, open that template file first. All your usual music, intros and graphics will already be loaded on the timeline. Then you just drop in the new footage and edit away. This has been a game changer for me. I no longer have to hunt through folders to find that one song or re-import my logo for every single video. Everything I need is there from the get-go and it shaves off a lot lot of setup time when I begin editing a new project. Give Movavi a try yourself. I've put a link in the description for you. Work with it for a bit and then say a month from now, compare one of your older videos edited in your previous software to a new one you've made with Movavi. I bet you will be pleasantly surprised at the difference. Happy editing and thanks for watching.